Hello everyone. Today's daily lead code challenge question is binary tree level order traversal. It's a medium level question. Uh, let's read the question. Given the root of a binary tree, return the level order traversal of its nodes values. We need to return these values from left to right and by level by level. This is a given example. Okay, we'll take this example and discuss the algorithm. Okay. Let's discuss an algorithm for the above question. So, first we need to do a level order traversal. So, first create an empty queue. This is an empty queue. This is an empty queue. Uh, first, we need to assign our our root node to a value temp. So now, root will be assigned to temp. Now we we should make a while loop and print and print temp if it is uh, if temp is not equal to null so now we will print temp directly ok temp will be print directly 3 now we need to check whether there, is, whether there are any children that means left child or right child for a root uh, root node that which is which is now equal to temp so after checking, we can find 9 and 20 as a root uh, root node ch childs. 9 and 20. We need to NQ 9 and 20. It's not looking like 9. It's 9. Okay. 9 and 20 into a into a queue. Then again, we need to check whether there uh, whether there are any uh, childs for uh, 9 we, are, we, we have to come from start to rare we are checking there are there are any children for 9 so so first we need to assign 9 to temp uh, temp is not equal to null so print 9 directly now we check there is any child for 9 we can't find any ch child for 9 so traverse for 20 we assign 20 to temp temp is not equal to null so print 20 now we will check elements for uh, child for 20 we can find 15 and 7 nq nq 15 first and 7 next we need to go from left to right order first we need to 15 we need to nq 15 and then 7 now we'll assign temp as 15 temp as 15 we'll check if temp is equal to null or not it's not equal to null so assign so nq so uh, so print the print the uh, print the temp which is equal to 15 we'll check we'll check any uh, child nodes present for 15 there is no child nodes present for 15 as it's a leaf node now we'll check for 7 uh, and we we'll assign 7 to temp and we'll print the temp as it is not equal to null now we'll check whether there are any left child or right child for 7 no there is no left child and right child for 7 as it's a leaf node also so we'll print this as a result 3 9 20 15 and 7 this will be our result now we will now we will approach with this algorithm for coding so let's start coding first we need to initialize q first we need to initialize q and it would be a it would be of type tree node tree node Uh, we will name it as uh, Q itself. New new link list new link list of type tree node again. Of type tree node. Now we will offer the Q with root node. We discussed in the uh, algorithm section as same as we are doing we'll offer 
Q with a root node Q dot offer root now we will we'll make up a while loop and check whether Q is empty or not Q if Q is if Q is not empty if Q is not empty we will go for further further algorithm Q dot is empty if Q is not equal sorry if Q is not empty if Q is not empty then we need to traverse from we need to travel from int i equal to 0 to size of a q size of a q will be uh, varying for every level so first we will enter into level 1 uh, root 3 will be assigned to q now we will check if q is empty then we need to return directly uh, null that means we will return nothing if q is not equal to empty then we will go go for a for loop we need to traverse from 0 to size of a q so for that we will will first initialize we will first initialize a variable q size which contains which contains the size of a q so now size of a q is equal to 1 we will traverse from 0 to 1 for first time Q size I plus plus. Now we need to check whether whether there is any left child left child or right child right child present for a root node. Uh, if if we found any left element present for a value, we need to add the Q. If you if you found any right element present for a value, we need to add add to the Q. So first we will pick the value and we will check whether it's a left element we need to add to add to left and if it's right element we need to add to right element. So q dot peak we will pick the value and if it is left and if it's not equal to null we will add to q better using offer rather than add offer q dot peak dot left so same same will be done with right so we'll just change the values right rig okay now we have checked whether there is, there is any left child or right child yes uh, yes there is a left child and right child both present so we will add it to the queue another queue so now we need to pull this value pull this value 3 and add and add to another uh, another array list so first we will make a make a array list before a for loop so we will I will make a for list list and it is of type integers integers and I will name it as sub list sub list linked list Integers. Okay, now we will add elements to sublist. Now we will add elements to sublist by polling. Poll, poll, poll is nothing but removing the element without returning false. If there is no element, we will get a null value. 
we will pull the element and we will add to sublist. So now 3 is added to a sublist. For next iteration, the size of a queue will be equal to 2 because first we will uh, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for next iteration, the size of a queue will be equal to 1, uh, where we will uh, enqueue 9 and we will check for left or right cells. Both are not present. So we will pull the value 9 and we will add it to sublist again. So sublist now containing the values 3 and 9. So sublist now containing the values 3 and 9. Now we will check, we'll ch uh, now we will go for another loop. Now the size of a queue will be equal to uh, equal to equal to one. Now twenty will be enqueued into the sublist. Now twenty will be enqueued into the queue. Uh, now we will check whether there are any left child or right child. We will add it to the queue. Fifteen and seven will be added to the queue. Now twenty will be popped up and will be added to the sublist. So in this manner, sublist sublist will contain elements, and these all elements should be added to another array arrays list. Uh, we need to return list of lists which are which are storing a type integers. So first we will initialize. So first we will initialize list of lists write down the write down the uh, write down the queue we will name it as wrap list as we are wrapping all the sub list together new link list I'll just copy it from here new link list and it's one more list Defining list of lists, list of list integer, wrap list, new linker list, list integers. Only one. Okay. Now, after this, every element will be, every element in a sub list will be added to wrap list. Just will, just will add dot add sublist and we need to return wrap list directly we will return after this return wrap list I think it's done and one more condition here we forgot is if there is no value in the root, we directly, if there is no value in the root, we will return wrap list, but wrap list doesn't contain any values here. I will try to run the code, not integers, it's an integer and return wrap list, sorry return wrap list integer integer ok one more error list its capital it's not integers sorry Okay, now we'll try for example test cases. It's good. Now we'll submit. Ninety-two percent. Thank you.